This morning, a parade aimed at honoring veterans has turned into a battle over the Confederate flag. A federal judge ruling that the flag will not fly in this morning's parade. Nick Sturdivant is live in Alpharetta, where the parade is set to kick off any minute now. Nick, this is on the heels of last year's controversial protest. Yeah, that's right, Christian. Good morning. The federal judge made that decision yesterday. And as we were setting up for our live shot, one thing we noticed was a Confederate flag. I mentioned earlier it, was, it remains to be seen if protesters come out. But again, a Confederate flag is here. Uh, and again, we haven't seen any other protesters out here. The parade starts at 1030. And I got a chance to go through the lawsuit this morning, filed by Richard Leake and Michael Dean, which seeks an injunction against the city of Alpharetta for not allowing the Roswell Mills Camp Sons of Confederate Veterans to display the flag. In the suit, the judge was concerned about freedom of speech, but was not ready to make a snap decision on the injunction. Last year, as you mentioned, people not connected with the Sons of Confederate Veterans brought Confederate flags roadside again. Right behind us, a Confederate flag is flying. The parade starts in about an hour, and people are already here ready for that parade to start. Christy? All right, thanks for the update, Nick.